today we check out my finished HB Racing E817. It's ready for the track, so let's go check this out. Hey guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com, and there it is. That is the HB Racing E817. Now, of course, that is their newest 1.8 scale electric four wheel drive buggy. Now, if you watch the other couple of videos, the unboxing, and of course, the first build update on the E817, you know already that I was pretty just blown away at the quality the craftsmanship and the engineering in this E817 buggy. Now, to top it off, I put in some pretty cool electronics, dropped on some color on the body there, and I've gotta say, probably one of my favorite final products at the RC Network. Now, I know many of you were expecting a metallic blue paint job. Well, I decided to keep it in HB Racing fashion with some cool orange color. Now, I chose a pretty nice color here from Pactra Paints. This is their fiery orange color. It turned out pretty nice, and if you really look at the texture of the paint, there's like a heavy metal flake going on, and it just is so brilliant to look at. It almost has like a, a granite effect, as you see my studio lights right there. So really nice color, and I've gotta say, pretty impressed with the metallic portion of it. Now the other two complementary colors I used were Indie Silver right here on the upper chassis, and then also a Sprint White at the very bottom down here both from Pactra Paints. To keep me glued to the track, I went to my friends over at J Concepts for some fresh rubber and some Premier white wheels. Now, I went with the Bullet white wheels. These are just their standard eight skill buggy wheels and went with their dirt webs. Now this of course is their gold compound and it does very well on a clay track. Now, if the stock body doesn't do it for you, J Concepts also has their Hot Bodies D812 body. This is the silencer version, and it's actually the 2012 Ifmar Worlds body. So this is part number 254. Pretty cool design. I actually like the cab forward design that this definitely has. And of course, this is their conversion body, so it can be either used for an electric or for the nitro version. As I took the lid off now, we can see all of the electronical magic happening in this e-buggy, the E817. Now, this is a very close design. So we have the receiver box here on the far left, right next to it, the motor, right next to it, the ESC, right next to it, the servo. So your wiring management needs to be on par for this build. So I had to get a little bit creative with angling some of the posts to uh, really have room to get a little bit of curve on the wire here. But let's start off with the servo I chose. The Futaba S9177SV is a super powerful servo. Now, this was not the intended servo for this build, but I had to get something that had a long receiver cord that could stretch all the way down the chassis back to that receiver box. The original one I had planned out for it was the 9372 that actually cranks 0 0.06 seconds with 341 ounce inches of torque. Now the 9177 here is actually one I have intended for a rock crawling project, so may have to switch some things up here soon. This thing actually cranks out at 570 ounce inches at 0.11 seconds. So a little bit slower than I would like in an e-buggy, but it definitely has the torque and it definitely gets me started tomorrow to test this thing out. The ESC I chose was the Hobbywing Z-Run XR8 Plus. This is definitely a good ESC for almost any eight scale vehicle. This thing is 150 amps and pretty much can handle anything from 2S up to 6S LiPo. I plan to run 4S in this EA17. Matched up with the Hobbywing Z-Run 4268 censored brushless motor. This is a 1900 kV motor, has plenty of torque and will definitely get me powered up on the track. A couple of supplement items just to make the build get complete is an 18 tooth mod one pinion gear. 
I pretty much checked around an 18 tooth is about the average for the 1900 kV motor. Also have the Techno aluminum servo horn. This is a clamping design, actually fits the geometry of the steering system pretty well. So really like that. And finally the staple three wire organizer here that's found on an axial parts tree. The batteries I'll be running in my E817 are a couple of Gen's Ace batteries. This is the 5000 milliamp 50C 4S LiPo packs from hobbybatteries.com. Well guys, that is it. That is my full reveal of the HB Racing E817. Now, sorry to cut this a little short. I am literally packing up tonight to get to the track tomorrow, so I have a lot of work ahead of me. The dirt webs you see mounted on the car are not even glued up yet. Still have to glue those, still have to balance some batteries, get everything ready so I can head to the track tomorrow, test this out and a couple other vehicles, so I can't wait to do that. Well guys, that is it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions about these items, feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.